Hello everyone. Hey, lovely, lovely people. So then, do you like hearing the word combo? Master, who needs a school when we have a whole forest to ourselves? Master, I'm trying to topple the I'm trying to topple the invading regime. Uh, yeah, ignore the fact that we have this brand spanking new sword. My job is to teach you the basics. So we all cool, so he's all cool about us robbing that sword then. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's whatever. Because you know we could we could shank him if he if if he if if he tried anything. So you know we certainly could now. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna learn a few more things. Um, all of these things are actually pretty useful, but it takes fucking forever to explain. But at least it gives some kind of in-game explanation as to how this all works, like chi and woo and chi, spiritual unification. Destroy the Zhang, yeah. get a combo, then hit an enemy. You have limited time to destroy them all. So combo make you do it. Uh, yeah, it's not too effective in uh, taking down enemies because hitting them with a combo will make them just fall flat on their back, where you don't have too many options. Um, it's better to just attack them normally with your high combo so you've got more damage yeah. than to actually, like, you know, go to war. And of course, sometimes enemies have an annoying habit of just knocking you flat on your ass, <laughs> even if you combo towards them. So. But you said there were useful things. And treasure chests mm. that have a combo seal. So, combo chests and combo switches. Combo switches don't appear too often, but combo chests, they like to put those around quite a bit. Do the same when you reach a combo seal. Okay. So, who's just capable of, like, summoning these evil soul pots at any point, huh? Well, we can break them easily enough. Yeah, but you know, the way you describe it may sound like it sounds like there's some fucked up wizardry. I'm sorry, I can't hear you from the fact that we're getting money from this chest. Go coins. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was like ten. Uh, yeah, gold coin is ten, silver is five. Uh, we've seen the young, young bow, whatever it was. Uh, that was uh, fifty. Yeah. You will hit him hard. Try it. So now we get ourselves a roll attack. Roll attack's pretty useful. Allows you to be agile and attacking at the same time. Pretty sure that's moving magic is Enemies can block your attacks. Well, it's move here. <laughs> If you stand in front of an enemy, you can roll behind him. This is your moment of surprise. And this is probably one of the most useful attacks you'll get in the game. However, the game is very, very bad actually explaining this. What, do you, what you do not do is block and then roll around. It's actually really awkward to do. What you instead need to do is you need to roll towards the opponent. Then press triangle and a directional button, and you'll then roll around him. Right. That did not look like what those buttons were telling you to do. No, it is actually a really, really bad thing, so... Yeah, so here I am trying to... Yeah, it's really awkward to try and do, but with rolling and then pressing triangle to go around, you do that 100% of the time. Right. This move can also be nicely combined with rolling behind the enemy. Did you just say choice? I leave that exercise up to you. Thanks, Ed. Now you've learned huh. all you need to do it your way. Good I luck, did my it my way. So he, I mean, he just fucks off back into the woods. <laughs> yeah, alright, see you later. Um, <laughs> okay, I live here now. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm not going to see him for the rest of the game. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, we didn't get any points. Well, we got barely any points, so we're not going to really unlock anything. But now we enter into the main part of the forest. Yep, rabbit's still pretty bad. Who else would scoff at the wrath of a rat? I must be a cat. Oh yeah, banter, mate. <laughs> the best banter rhymes. Oh yeah, we're gonna be seeing plenty of banters here in this game. I wish we didn't. But whatever. 
So yeah, uh, we can use our new technique for us to take down these evil rats and shit like that. Uh, we've also got uh, enemies with armor. They just take more hits than the usual uh, enemy. I see. Now, I know, now you say you need new techniques to beat them. You don't seem to be. Let's give me a second, you know. That's, that's the problem with me, you know, not playing this, playing this game all too recently, is that I've kind of, you know, gotten not too used to playing it, so I get a lot better as things will go on, trust me. You always tell me that and it never happens. Let me see how you use the combo thingy, you know, uh, kind of, yeah, see, it just knocks him on brass. But, yeah, not too difficult. Yeah, so we're basically kind of... You finish them! Good! I hurry now to the hair tree and report to Mayor Tulao. Why you don't drop by? For great pleasure to give us yes! I swear they had proper grammar Sounds last episode. Me. See you right soon! Well, I, I actually... I think it does depend on the uh, characters. Uh, they do, like... A, there's a few, like, you know, different voices and... I imagine different ways of speaking. Oh well, uh, shit, we can't make more than one model, we may as well change up the grammar. Yeah, because that's, that's how it is with the cats, because there's a lot of different models for the cats, but there's only like one or two models for the hares. So it's a bit... whatever. For the cat village, we'll never be... For all the cats in the cat village, we'll never see again. No, we, we're never going to see them again at all, no. So, I hope you enjoyed looking at those models. I did not, so I'm okay. glad they're gone forever. Mm-hmm. So we got ourselves some bugs. Uh, it's annoying in Nightmare because they take seven hits to kill. That's too many. Mm. But we need to get combo so we can go up here. Ooh. And there we go, extra life. We'll need those. Maybe you were. Yes, because right now I am bad at game, whereas in future I am not bad at game. Not good at game either, just. Mediocre at game. Mm -hmm. So here is the main rabbit's village, hair tree. Oh, this is just the Shire. Yep. This, is just, this is just the Shire, but with less charm. Well, you know, rabbits make kind of things like that. Make hobbit holes. <laughs> Got Bruin Fountain, but no heart in the story. Oh well. So let's go say hello Have to the rabbits. Seen, baby? With our mayor, too loud. Just follow the way up and enter the open door. There he is. He always says a mayor's door is to be open. This place is not very complicated. There's like one house you can enter and like four afternoon. people to talk to. What's the big deal here? Yes, we're expecting the rat's attack at any moment. Mayor Too Lao is trembling with concern up in his house. Where can I find your yeah, when you can describe his house with the one with the open door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't, we don't, we, no, this isn't an RPG, you understand, okay? You can't just walk into people's houses and just break their shit. We can do that in the cat village, but we can't do it here, alright? Uh, we can't even talk to these fucking rabbits. <laughs> Maybe you know. Me? Know anything? Guess why they call idiots hairbrained. That's oh, oh, oh. stereotyping to your rage trait. Well, you know, he he is kind of thick, hey, so buddy. you know. Why are you running around in circles here? Ah, you're stumped, ain't ya? I'm practicing. If I manage to hop around the island 300 times in one day, I may eat these carrots. They're the best, juicy, firm, very delicious. I know the audience isn't going to be able to hear this, but I think I can actually hear your cat purring. Um, I mean, he is purring, so maybe you can literally hear the cat purring. Okay. He's also, now, he's also trying to bite me, so yeah, that's fun. Alright. Good uh, job. Here's a Zhong challenge. Um, it's a bit shit. <laughs> uh, especially that last bit. Yeah, that looked like you were just kind of mashing and hoping. Yeah. So, at least there's a, like, a heart restorative nearby, but you kind of just have to... But there's the problem with the whole, like... Circling round with your sword, it's for, it's very it's very finicky in order to do that. Yeah. Sometimes you just run around in circles and just don't do, do it at all. But we need to do it in order to get a magic container. If only, if only your charge attack was a spin. Yeah. If only. So yeah, we literally just walk up and there's the open door. 
suppose I don't even joke about his open door policy yet. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. Hello, my young fellow. You must be K, yes? See, another you model for the K rabbits. Machine. Whoa. That's the same model with a different shirt. Oh, it's technically a different model, but shut up. Yeah. The <laughs> I think maybe he exaggerated a bit. I hear you're after our friend. Okay, that talking animation is like hypnotizing me. It's personal. Well, yeah, I mean, this is a game from 2005. No, I mean, so arm goes up. Wiggles both arms, just a little stomp. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really enjoying that, actually. Undoubtedly, <laughs> yeah. the same things you do to us. Yeah, he just does it forever. Yeah. Some protection from the yeah. dragon. <laughs> Look, there's the entrance to the dragon's cave. But we cannot reach it anymore. Yeah, you can't see the animation here, so you can't just keep no. incessantly giggling. <laughs> I could just keep giggling while thinking about it. I don't think about this kind of stuff when I play the game. I don't look at that model and just start giggling whenever it starts doing animation. It just starts doing its little dance. <laughs> it's important dance over and over. Okay. We had found all three rubies. But always, when we tried to activate one statue, our brave scout here got caught and the ruby was taken by the rat. Maybe get better scouts. Yeah. And he carried our last ruby. Just imagine what will happen. When the rats enter the dragon's cave first, their power would grow even larger. Or maybe a dragon would eat them. Hmm. Well, yeah, we'll see. This. You can count on me. You have to, because they want to enchant Torchy with their evil magic, like what they have done with Borax. Torchy would be controlled by their will. He'd be turned against us and every other peace-loving people. You're a shitty dragon. No problem, too loud. I'll convince Torchy yeah, he is a bit. protect you guys from now on. <laughs> but, you know, oh well. So, now instead of activating cat statues, we need to activate dragon statues. Whoa. Yeah, you should never pay in advance. Hmm. So, yeah, we need first we need to find the rubies and then we can activate statues, so. Okay. Oh, God. Um. Nah, I, I I know this whole uh, you know tutorial with the master and then you know lengthy conversations with a dancing rabbit can be quite boring, but <laughs> at least we're now going to be heading into the action hey after some more talking. Back home. Yes, I sneaked past wild bugs and was quite happy to be home again. I wish I had. A see, I can't see him doing little course. stomps here, and it's upsetting me. Already hunting. See ya. Have fun, and if you have questions. Well, you know, you can kind of see what he's, uh... see the arm, but it's, it's the little stomps that make me laugh. Cool, thanks. For example, have you cut already through the bamboo at the seven billion... So baby is here just to tell you, um, of, uh, various cat statues that you still need to activate, but that requires you going all the way back to, uh, Heritree, and it's not really worth it. stolen two rubies from us. I'm pretty sure they've hidden them in the... Uh, I'm actually not sure if we even come back Somebody here again because it's so out of the way. And return the rubies to their rightful owner. If you also, these people are all, like, and feel trash. Drop by any time. Well, I suppose, but at least, like, after we get past this area, we won't be encountering the rabbits again. For you, so you have access <laughs> until we go to the next area. Uh, once we finish with the area of the forest, we won't have to encounter the rabbits again. But now we have access to other areas of the forest. Cool. So we can go and get some rubies to activate some statues. What sound them talking? Buy out the girls. I still can't tell you much, but what I can tell you is that this We must talk to all the rats for all of the dialogue. Is that enough? This is your favourite spot in the world, your port. <laughs> Boring asshole. I'm not actually sure if rabbits are faster than rats. I think they're fairly fast each. I think because rabbits have got longer legs, they can move a lot quicker in sort of space at a certain time. I don't know, maybe we should catch a rat and a rabbit and make them race and then fight. Okay, I'll, I'll get the rat on that. Oh, wait, my cat's gone. Damn. Guess we'll never know. It's not only the rats. I also heard about bears roaming through the forest. Bears? Bears. As long as the rats are near, I won't abandon my house. For hundreds of years, 
Our family has been living under cover of the hair tree, and so it shall remain. What makes it a hair tree other than the hair live under it? It's, yeah, the hairs are under the tree, so it's a hair tree. So any tree they live under could be the hair tree. Well, it, it's, it's probably the biggest tree in the forest. Stop clinging to outmoded traditions, hairs. You assholes. So anyway, let's go to this completely secret area. That you would, at, it takes a lot of skill in order to find this place. Because I think there's like cats actually to activate in pretty much every single area of the game, as far as I remember. You know, it's six cats to actually do Rather yep. than two, I suppose, yeah. I thought it would be two in every area. No, the number varies depending on the area. And the kind of objective that you want to do, but it's generally worth it if I mean if you want to go for 100 percent then you know, might as well. But if, if you don't really bother then you know no real point. But it it'll be very helpful to us. If you say so. Oh hey, it's this guy. That's a fancy rat. Mm. Whack to you, cat. Get him, boys. You must be tech. Listen. Oh, I hate that dragon. Oh. So, uh, see you there. Bye, Alma Fudd. Oh, mm -hmm. are we Alma Fudd now? Well, um... What? He's just gonna... What? He, he, he's got magic, so he can teleport, but in the HD release, the, his staff that appears... Yeah. It doesn't appear. <laughs> There's, there's a couple of graphical glitches. Um, I mean, if I'm really honest, like playing through this, uh, the HD version, it's slightly better. It, I mean, it looks slightly better than the original PlayStation 2 version, and the UI is a lot better. But otherwise, honestly, that's, it doesn't really have too many other improvements. There's quite a few glitches, there's a few problems here and there. So honestly, you know, you know, Still buy this game, but also, you know, buy the PS2 one as well. Buy them both, why not? Yeah, I mean, you can, I, I've, I've seen this, um, like, game in, like, uh, like, the own shops and stuff like that for, like, a quid. There's a pound to our non colloquial deal. Mm. So, uh, exchange rates of, like, $5? <laughs> I think you're like working backwards, though. Okay. So, yeah, uh,. Can't get into rat camp just yet, so we'll have to go and explore elsewhere. This has got this lovely area, and another cat statue. Ooh. What, didn't get any, we don't get any you solve the puzzle jingle this time? You only do that once you complete the quest. Because we, the last time we did it, it activated a quest for us to begin. Ah. That's disappointing. So, no jingle every time. Oh yeah, three bombs. What would I do with three bombs? So, we're going to need to get rid of these three bombs, because we've got a shop right here. Have you seen this Rat King fellow? I last saw him heading towards the Dragon's Cave. How did you see that? He's not up to no good. <laughs> well, you know, he could probably see through like the shutters or whatever. By yourself, mm. The new hot container. Yeah, man, this, this, this character definitely has long speech patterns. Reminds me of another of a certain character, but the they're completely different. I was just thinking about Beetle from Wind Waker now. Mm -hmm. Thank you! <laughs> yeah, that's... That, that's, that's, definitely, that's definitely an impression. I need, to look, I need to look into this game to see if I can just cut all of his... Audio files and should play well with. Thank you! <laughs> Have you seen this rat king? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I last saw him mm. heading towards the mm. dragon's cave. Mm. Hope he's not up to no good. <laughs> hmm. Do you need anything, Cameras? Health potion. Yes! Whatever, shut up, old man. I suppose we could use the health potion. Since we are quite early on in the game and they are quite useful. So. Let's go explore one of these side areas and see if we can get some rubies back. I mean, are there any side areas we have to go through them to... No, but, you know, shut up. 
And don't stop saying you can pick holes in. Bugs, plants. Like what a forest has. Yeah. Except, you know, these ones really want to kill us. Like what a forest has. I suppose. Though, not really any forests around here, really. Nature's scary. That's why I don't go outside. No, me neither. Nope. There was a bug in that pot. There was, there was another bug in that pot. Not the good, and not the good time, like a... Like bees. No. We can't put those in a bottle. Yeah. Bees, bees in a bottle? Also a thing from Zelda. Well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> we don't have anything that we can really put them in. So... So, hmm. I wonder what this is for. Another gas actually. That's my closest vocal I can make to the Zelda you sell the puzzle jingle. Mm hmm. And uh, made rocks. Because why not? Ow. Rocks 4K guys. Pretty much. They're a little bit annoying to avoid, but oh well. So let's get ourselves a nice big combo. The combo's still going? No. No. <laughs> but uh, we can try and get ourselves a big combo by just jumping onto that ledge. We're not going to get yes. a big combo, are we? Just jump onto. Just. Jump. You're, you're truly in parallel. There we go. Now oh, my combo's gone. Damn it. Oh well. We'll live. Oh. Oh, we needed to come over the way here for an extra life. Yeah, at least they're generous with the activating the ability. Yeah, but the um, the invincibility frames, as it were, uh, though not really the same thing, uh, does mean that um, you know we can get, get yourself out of danger or other such lovely things, so I'm sure it'll be very helpful. I'm sure you could use it to do some sweet speedrun tricks. Oh yeah, this is definitely a speedrun, yeah. as it always is. Let's go fight against this rat. Oh. That's right, I'm just a harmless kitten. Garbage mouth. Wanna Garbage mouth? And play with me? Yeah. Meow. This is a 12 game, you know. Not gonna have any of this shit and crap here, you know. What a fucking crock of shit, holy shit. Fuck. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so welcome to what is probably the hardest battle we're ever gonna have at this point in the game. Because we've got four fucking bears. Did you um, wait? Did you accidentally do that potion before the fight, and then it ran out during the cutscene? No, that was a health potion. Ah. We still got a. Uh, uh, no, we don't have a dessert potion. Shit. So good thing is to get rid of the rat first, because he's going to be annoying, and also he's armored. Uh, can also use bombs for sweet combat. Oh, no. And also make sure to dodge the bear's attacks when they charge at you. The bear charge. Mm -hmm. And in my practice run, these hornets were a lot more effective than taking out the bears. <laughs> and it would help if I, you know, wasn't one hit away from death. So let's go into these bugs and uh, get some neat combos going. Because, you know, the higher combo, the stronger our attack. I didn't even notice there was a load of bugs up there. And we land directly onto them. Yeah. Nice. Rip. <laughs> 